Prem, look, I'm sorry things have worked out this way, and I hate myself for what's happened. Don't bother. I can hit you enough for two. Please, please, just let me finish. Prem, Prem, I love Tara, absolutely. I've got every reason to believe that she feels the same way. And I'm not asking for your blessings, really, I'm just not. Just get out of it, But before I do, just please, just answer one question, just one question. Have you ever seen Tara so happy? Look, I don't have time for this. Prem, please, please, just, just, just give me an answer, just yes or no. To I ask you most humbly, please let me see her. For my daughter's sake, and for her sake only, I will let this relationship continue. Thank you. You and I are not friends, mm. nor are we ever likely to be. I think you've behaved appallingly. I'll make sure Nina says nothing to Tara. In the meantime, make sure you honor my daughter. Yeah, She's I... been hurt before. I don't want her hurt again. Do you understand yeah, me? Yes. Yes, thank you. You've been an amazingly, amazingly generous man. Thank you. Just, um... And Dave. Yeah. Please stop all this dreadful crawling. It's quite revolting. Okay. Yeah, all right then, mate. Yeah. I'll see you later. You all ready for your jolly old? Yeah, I am. Well, I've just got to pick up some money that I'm all, so I'll see you in about half an hour, okay? Please have a name for what you just did. Obtaining money by menaces. Oh, no, sorry. There's nothing clever about violence, you know. There's no Nobel Prize for thuggery. Oh, no. More to the point, anything like that scares the life out of me. And me too. So why the hell did you do it? Because, Joe, I couldn't just stand by and watch somebody treat you like that. And I know how much you need that money. And plus, if I'm honest, I like having you around. And so does me, ma'am. Spare me the soft soap. I'm being serious. Look, she's been skipping around like a teenager since you came along. And it's nice to see. The fact remains that if customers get the idea that I send bully boys around every time they're late with a payment, you and me's out of business. You're right. I'm sorry. OK. Now, go and treat yourself. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. On condition you never pull a stunt like that again. I don't think we can stand it. Right then. Okay, I'm gonna bank this. You can take the rest of the deck off. Thanks, brilliant. And David, don't go and telling your mum and Tina we've had money troubles. This is just between you and me, okay? Not a problem. Good lad. See you later. Yeah, I know I said the money would be there today. You know what banks are. It'll be with you first thing in the morning, I can guarantee you. Not at all. And thank you. Oh, no. Oh, well, I have had warmer welcomes. I'm sorry, it's just the day everyone either seems to want money from me or won't give me any. Well, before you shoot the messenger, I think you should listen to what I've got to say. Go on. I've just sold the flat. Sold. That's in exchange for money. Wait, was in? Yeah. Full asking price? Oh, yes. Hiya. Uh, sorry for barging in. It's all right, let's just go in anyway. I'll speak to you later. OK. So, uh, that's good news, isn't it? Uh huh. Um, do I get that other 150 then? You know that you promised me. You'll be paid in full on Monday. But I'm going on my holidays. Sorry. No, Kelly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to ask for money that's rightfully yours, but. Until Monday, I'm in the same boat as you. 
Well, they tried to threaten me, didn't they? So, I gave them my best stare and scared them out after death. Ooh, <laughs> what's your best stare like? Oh, believe me, Graham, you do not want to find out. Oh, yeah, I do. All right, well, don't say I didn't warn you. What? You look like a... What? Like a... A disgruntled glove puppet. Yeah, like you could do better. <laughs> yeah, all right, brace yourself. What was that? What was that? Oh, yeah, well done. <laughs> hey! So what exactly did this bloke look like? Evil scum. Dan, oh, I've got a problem. I didn't get that money on my road. Yeah, so? Well, I'm wondering if you could borrow me some spends. The words lend, I lend, you borrow. Oh, go on. Let's talk about it later, yeah? Thanks, see you in a bit. Do I look like a mug or what? As far as women are concerned, mate, I think we all do. The shrink said there are three basic human needs. The most important is food and shelter. Number two? Being loved. What's number three? On in a widescreen telly, but whoa, <laughs> one step at a time. I haven't got a girlfriend yet. <laughs> so, what kind of girl are you looking for then? I'm not fussy, really. As long as she's a supermodel. <laughs> I like Kate Moss, and I reckon she'd like me too. I mean, she's always had a soft spot for dead legs, but, well, she lives in London. I mean, it's a five-hour bus journey. So, I've decided on Agnes Dean. She's a local girl. All right, sorted. All you need to do, then, is find out where she lives, go around her place and ask her out. Nah, that's way too obvious, no. Now, what I need to do is, I need to find out where a man lives, then knock on a door and offer to do her garden, free of charge. One day, when I'm weeding the garden, up drives Agnes in a red Ferrari. Agnes's mum says, allow me to introduce you to Graham. He does my garden for nothing. Oh, that's very kind of you. Graham, why don't you come to Paris with me? And off we go. Anyway, enough about me. Let's hear about you. So, after you gave him your baddest stare, what happened next? I've already told you twice. Oh, go on. Yeah, tell us again. I looked at him and I said, uh, are you going to pay me or are you going to get battered and still pay me? It's up to you, Windass. Say that again. Windass. The Windasses? A bad bandido, senor. They are not the kind of people you mess with. <laughs> My dad hates being contradicted, so just try to agree with him, even if you don't. So, just to summarise, if you'd had to like me, I've got to look and act a completely different person. By George, I think he's got it. Right. Right then, best of luck, mate. I'll uh, send for my stuff once I'm sorted. You think you'll miss it? No, I can't wait to get rid of the place. You know, it's a nice little business and all of that, but living round here is starting to get to me, you know what I mean? Too many losers for my liking. Talking of which... Oh, hang on! <laughs> I've not got my place in yet! Uh, I don't think so, darling. <laughs> what do you mean? What I mean is, is that I've considered your generous offer to accompany me on holiday while sponging off me, and I've decided to turn it down. You said you'd lend me money. Why are you being so horrible to me? Look, I like you, Kelly, yeah? But I'm trying to economise here. Plus, I've got a mate who can pay his own way. <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, that's great, isn't it? And I suppose you expect I'll just wait here for you till you get back. Uh, who said I was coming back? Oh, you miserable sleep! Oh. I'll perforate your bums, you pack it in. Pack it in, you mad cow! Oh, you, you boring! And you smell! Oh. You're not even good as bed! No, neither are you! <laughs> Wanna watch yourself with her, mate? She'll rob all your money. <laughs> See ya!
Guess who? Oh, there's only one person I'd like to meet. And here she is. You know, I was just about to call you in the house, Brookie. Is that? And I was wondering if you'd allow me to take you to dinner tonight. Hmm? I'd love that. Mm -hmm. But I'm driving down to London oh. to collect my stuff from the flat. Well, that's a shame. There will be many, many other nights. Promise? Come here, baby. Oops. Shut it. Okay, that's my cue to leave. No, I not just. You. No, uh, not just. Uh. <laughs> Daryl wanted your advice on how to streamline his business. Yeah, yeah, and I thought maybe uh, we could go through accounts and you could point out where I've been going wrong. I'm glad to help. When you go through, I'll put kettle on. Cool. There must be a wrong family, mate. Nothing scary about the bloke I saw. Uh, Eddie, he were called. Eddie's not so bad. But Gary, his son, he's a maniac. And his uncle, Len, he's even worse. Yeah, yeah. A mate of mine, right, had this ice cream van. Well, Len told him not to play his jingle when he drove past his house. My mate ignored him. So, Len and Gary I jacked his van and took him for a little ride. Oh, yeah? And what happened? No, wait, let me guess. The force fed him 99s and drove him round round the park till he was sick. <laughs> no one knows what happened. My mate refused to talk about it. But a week later, my mate sold his ice cream van and now he just stays at home. Never answers the phone, never leaves the house. Yeah, so what? So, if I were you, I'd put that money in an envelope, shove it through their letterbox and flaming leg it. I'm not scared of lying, cheating, low lives, all right? You are a plucky little jockey. And it's been very nice knowing you. Big, was it? Not exactly, but what size got to do with it? Hey, the Cray twins were only five foot seven. Or was he bigger than that or smaller? Smaller. How much smaller? About an inch. 20s, 30s, 40s? No, he was younger than that. Younger than 20? A bit. Sounds to me like you lot have just been mugged by a little Jimmy Cranky. Nah, he was armed. What with? A stick. A stick? Oh, well, not a stick. Dad said it was more like a, a rod. <laughs> like one of the metal ones that you used to pry stuff open with. It would have hurt. Jesse. So, uh, I don't understand. Now, is this your income for the previous tax year? Yeah. No. 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 And this is gross? Yeah. Vile, in fact. Wouldn't feed a flea off that, would you? Do you know what gross income is? <clears throat> right, now, say your gross annual income is 60 grand and your outgoings are 20 grand, so your net annual income is...? I don't know. I'm still lost on the whole. How long does it take 10 men to dig a 12-foot hole thing? You think this is funny? No. Not what you do. I think it's pathetic. I think this, this is why your business is failing. Look, I know it went a lot better when my dad were around, but, you know, when I've been on my own, it's just got really, really hard. Yeah, and, OK. You know, it's not like I don't put in the hours. I mean, yeah. I work... Oh, OK. OK. Now, let me do you a favour. Leave the books, right? I'll go for the figures, see if I can find out what's wrong. Hmm? Great. That's great. Because nobody but nobody knows more about running a small business than I do, Darren. Hmm? Isn't that right? So why don't you, sweet young things, uh, go to the movies, hmm? Do something nice. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Allahan. Mm -hmm. And son? <laughs> Call me Dad. Yeah. yeah. Come on. So, what do you think? This is going to be Daddy's shop from now on. 
Why? Why? Well, so people will come in and give Daddy all the money, and Daddy, hopefully, won't have to give them any money back. Why? I think you should explain to him what a mug punter is. Oh, hiya. Hiya. Ah, I was just going to make a cup of tea. Do you fancy some? Um, I want me tea. <laughs> no, no, son, we're not talking about that kind of tea. Oh, are you hungry, mate? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Si, why don't we invite Auntie Leanne for a bite to eat? Why? Yeah, I could say the same. It's a bit pushy, your dad, isn't he? Oh, come on. Fish, chips, mushy peas. Mm-hmm. Mm, not so sure. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah. Well, that's settled then. <laughs> that was amazing. You must have charmed the pants off him. Not really. In fact, there was one really nasty moment where I thought you were going to clonk me. No. No, you swallowed your pride and asked him for his help. I think Dad really respects you for that. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Hey, Jerry! Baby! It's Dev. Allahan. Yeah. How are you, mate? Ah, 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 ah. Listen, I'm glad to hear it. Now, Jerry, listen. Listen, Jerry. Jerry. I might have a proposition for you. Ah, I saw that. <laughs> now listen, let's get a plate first, all right, son? Right, plates, plates, OK. Plates are in here. <clears throat> and knives and forks kept in here. Ah, so you know your way around then. Oh, yeah, in depressing detail. See that stain behind your head? Through a cup, Miss Dan hit the wall. <gasps> right, okay. Does Simon want some tomato sauce? I don't know, do you want some tomato sauce? Yeah, mate. Oh, and uh, for the grown-ups. Glenn Maguire, is it yours? Oh no, it belonged to Dan Dan, the letdown man. Sold his shop and away he ran. <laughs> he was saving it for a special occasion. I reckon this qualifies. What? Because I've moved in. Because he's moved out. Fancy wee dram. Uh, no, not just now. Maybe later. Oh, your chips, mate, they're good. Look at all that sauce! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. It's me again. I got some great news today, so hurry up and call me back, because I want to share it with you. Also, I'm quite keen to know when you're coming back. Because, strange as it may seem, I've grown accustomed to your face. Okay. I love you. Bye. Bye now. What's your favourite superhero? Well, I like Batman, Superboy and Spider-Man. Are there superheroes in real life? Oh, yeah. In fact, I'm one. Me. Dad, is this a lie? No, you see, because when I'm awake, I'm this amazing daddy with the superpower to look after you all day long. But then when I'm asleep, I turn back into an ordinary citizen called Peter Barlow, who can do nothing but snore. <laughs> yeah, but you haven't got a stunning sidekick beside you, have you? And no self-respecting superhero should be without one. Job's yours if you want it. Hmm. Does she accept or does she exit travelling faster than a speeding bullet? Well, I'll tell you what. You have a think about it while I get this young man <laughs> to bed. OK? Come on, trouble. Say night-night. Night. -night. night, -night. <laughs> So cheerful about <laughs> seeing you for one thing. <laughs> what you doing this weekend? Not a lot, as usual. Why? 
I wonder if you fancy a few nights on the Cornish Riviera. My treat. Oh, that would be wonderful. Can you afford it? Oh, yes, things are picking up nicely. David's a good lad. Is he? <laughs> There's nothing to look so hey, surprised. What? Him over there, that's the joker who sold us the kitchen. I thought you said he was a kid. No, that's the kid's boss, the fella who set him on to us. Mm. Come on, what are you waiting for? Well, not now yet, Lennon. There are witnesses. We need to wait until he's on his own. He's laughing, see? He won't have much to laugh about <laughs> by the time we finish with him. There's no rush, Robbie. She's only been dead for a week. Oh! Taggart, next on ITV1. And over on ITV2, last year's King Returns to the Jungle, Get Me Out of Here, Biggins, Goes Back.